It's Sunday, October 24th, I don't believe. Spent my day over at my sister's house, bought him some KFC. So we had chicken and uh, brought home some corn for the savages to eat and some biscuits. So everybody's happy. Nice day out. It's about 87 degrees today. We have a cold front coming tomorrow. It's supposed to be freezing tomorrow and Tuesday. So, don't see the manager out and about winterizing things. So, we, uh, Went over to my mom's cabin at the lake and went over put some uh, freezing uh, pre premeditative stuff at the cabin. We winterized the cabin, water pipes and stuff, so the spigots won't freeze. So that's ready for the winter, so I don't have to mess with that. And a little pipe wrapping at my sister's house. She needed a little work too on her house, so she's set for the winter. But had a fun day. Now we're back at the RV park relaxing. Watching the clouds start to come in. I hear Dallas is getting a little wet. Wet and windy right now. So I think those clouds are coming from Dallas poofy little bastards but it's not cold here yet but I think later on tonight we'll be getting pretty cold which will be nice I like cold nights I got my heaters already so we're good but Pretty quiet Sunday here at the RV park. Yeah, some people probably went somewhere. Probably went back home for the weekend. They'll be probably back Monday to enjoy the cold win winter weather. Not quite winter. It'll be our first freeze tomorrow and Tuesday. So that's always exciting. Probably need to sneak over to my neighbors and grab that black bucket and cover up the water. But really, it's their water over there. If they don't cover it, um, it's their deal. My, my spigot's already covered, so I'm winterized over here. So, got me some backup water if I need water on good. probably get me a couple more jugs of water it's always good to have at least two or three gallons of water inside when it's freezing but normally in West Texas by noon we're above freezing and it's okay to have your water on then it's just at night time you gotta turn your water off in the winter time just in case better safe than sorry Uh, yeah, looks like the Featherfoot and ba Baby Big Bird, he's nibbling up traces of corn. The big girl's got the majority of the corn. They're like, we're, we're bigger and we need the corn. So, still looks like there's a bit left over there. I've probably been pigging out on chicken scratch, so they're probably not too hungry, but... New food is always exciting. It's like, oh, new food. We'll have to have a bite or two of that. But KFC corn, it's full of butter and hot. So they're like, oh, that tastes different. We well, get hooked on that kind of corn. Well, I haven't seen much wildlife, no deers or turkeys over here yet. 
Uh, the RV park is kind of full. Scaring away my wildlife. Kind of makes it suck a little bit. But uh, it's all right. I got a lot of things inside to play with, so I'm good. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a fun Sunday. We'll talk to you later. I think everybody in the world today wanted to get KFC. The lines were pretty big. I was like, golly. I have to wait two hours in the drive through to get KFC. What's up with that? All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.